Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is x plus 3 to the power of 4, this is equal to 16. So what is the value of x or what are the values of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. So we have x plus 3 raised to the power of 4, this is equal to 16. Let's take 16 on the left hand side so that we have x plus 3 raised to the power of 4, subtract 16, this is equal to 0. We can express x plus 3 to the power of 4, this is the same thing as x plus 3, raised to the power of 2, then raised to the power of 2 here, minus 16, which you can express as 2 to the power of 2, then raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. This equation here, is of the form a squared minus b squared. This is the difference of two perfect squares that you can express as a plus b multiplied by a subtract b. From this equation here, we have that a is equal to x plus 3 raised to the power of 2 and we have b is equal to 2 to the power of 2. So this implies that we have that a plus b equal to 0. This is the same thing as x plus 3 raised to the power of 2, then plus 2 to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. And we have that a subtract b equal to 0. This is the same thing as x plus 3 to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. Let's call this case 1 and this case 2. So let's start with case 1 here. So we have case 1. In case 1, we have x plus 3 raised to the power of 2, then plus 2 to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. Now, we have that x plus 3 to the power of 2, this is in the form of a plus b, raised to the power of 2, which we can express as a to the power of 2, plus b to the power of 2, then plus 2 times a, b. Now, this is algebraic identity, so applying this identity, this implies we have x to the power of 2, plus we have 6x, then plus 9 then plus 2 to the power of 2, this is 4, this is equal to 0. So this is x to the power of 2 plus 6x, then plus 9 plus 4, this is equal to 13, and this is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, this is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to 6, and c is equal to 13. So we can solve for x1, comma x2, by applying the quadratic formula here, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 ac, everything here, divided by 2 times, times a. Now apply. Substituting a, b, and c into this formula, this means we have minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 to the power of 2 minus 4 times a, which is 1, then times c, which is 13. Everything here divided by 2 times 1. So this is minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared, this is 36 minus 13 times 4, this is 52, everything here divided by 2. So this is minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 52, this is minus 16, everything here divided by 2. So we have that this is minus 6 plus or minus, we can express the square root of minus 16, this is the same thing as 16 times minus 1, 
everything here divided by 2. So this is minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 16, this is 4. Square root of minus 1, this is i, then divided by 2. We have that the square root of minus 1, this is i. So that's what we have here, 4i. In the numerator here, 2 is common, so this means we can factor out 2, so that we have 2. Into the parentheses, this is minus 3, plus or minus 2i, then everything here divided by 2. So we can simplify 2 and 2 here. So this is equal to minus 3 plus or minus 2i. So this means that we have x1 is equal to minus 3 plus 2i. And x2 is equal to minus 3 minus 2i. And you find that these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions under case 1. x1 and x2, we are saying these are two complex solutions under case 1. So let's proceed to case 2 from here. So we have that in case 2, we have x plus 3 raised to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. So this is actually x to the power of 2 plus 6x plus 9. Then minus 2 to the power of 2, which is 4. This is equal to 0. So this is x to the power of 2 plus 6x. Then 9 minus 4. This is plus 5. This is equal to 0. Now, we have that here. We have, this is a quadratic equation, where we have the product is equal to 5, and we have that the sum is equal to 6. So let's identify two factors. If we add those two factors, we get a value of 6. If we multiply these two factors, we get a value of 5. So we have 5 comma 1. So 5 times 1 is 5 then 5 plus 1, this is 6. So let's substitute these two factors in. So this is x squared plus 5x plus x, then plus 5, this is equal to 0. So we, have so we are solving this by factorization method. Now, we have got two parts here. From the first part here, x is common, so we have x into the parentheses, this is x plus 5, then plus, in the second part here, 1 is common, so we have 1, into the parentheses, this is x plus 5, this is equal to 0. Now, we have got two parts here, we have x plus 5, and we have x plus 1, this is equal to 0. So this implies that we have x plus 5, this is equal to 0, and we have x plus 1, this is equal to 0. From the first part here, we have, this is x3, this is equal to minus 5, and we have x4, this is equal to minus 1. So this implies that we have four solutions here, we have four solutions for this algebra problem, that is x1, comma x2, this is equal to minus 3, plus or minus 2i, and these are two complex solutions, two complex solutions, and we have x3 is equal to minus 5, and x4 is equal to minus 1, these are two real solutions these are two real solutions now we have four solutions two complex solutions and two real solutions here so let's check that these two real solutions satisfies the equation so we have x plus 3 raised to the power of 4 this should give us a value of 16. 
Let's start with x3, which is minus 5. So this is minus 5 plus 3 raised to the power of 4. This should give us a value of 16. Minus 5 plus 3, this is minus 2 raised to the power of 4. This should give us a value of 16. Minus 2 to the power of 4, this is equal to 16, which is equal to 16. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this verifies that x3, which is minus 5, satisfies the equation. Let's check x4. x4 is minus 1. So we have minus 1 plus 3 raised to the power of 4. This should give us a value of 16. So minus 1 plus 3, this is 2. Raised to the power of 4, this should give us a value of 16. 2 to the power of 4, this is equal to 16. And this is equal to 16. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this also affirms that the x4 which is minus 1, satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Please like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.